Now, Cuz, Cuz used to be on his paper, and I used to call Cuz like, yo, Cuz, you ain't got nobody following you. We all young niggas. We young. We young and shit. You know what I'm saying? We 17 and 18 and 16 and 15 and, you know what I mean? Ain't none of my niggas older than 19. None of them. You know what I mean? And I'm 16 and 17 and stuff at the time. So I'm like, uh... At this time, when he calling me, I'm thinking this one of them phone calls. Like, Yo, cuz these niggas probably, I'm thinking this one of them phone calls. We ain't, we ain't do too much together. We ain't do no partying together. None of that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I thought it was. He hit me, he called me. Yo, cuz you feel like making some paper? So I'm like, yeah, what's, what's up? You know what I mean? He like, uh, you feel like battling a nigga? <sighs> Shit took the air out of me. I'm like, what? I look at the phone and shit like, I ain't say nothing and shit. So he like, cuz I ain't trying to put you out there for no nut ass couple dollars or nothing, cuz, you know what I mean? So I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, who? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what's up? I'm like, who? I'm like, who is, you know some nigga named Joey Jad? As soon as he say that, I hit the lid. So I'm I'm in my act. I'm mad and shit because I'm already mad. I'm already hot, and I was already I already was. I used to always stay in that mode anyway, just in case niggas talk this shit. So I was like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, set it up, man. I I set it up, set it up and shit. So he like, I'm like, where them niggas at? He like, they up my school. So I'm like, where you at? He like, I'm up here now. I'm like, all right, well come get me. He like, all right, I'm about to be on my way to come get you. He called me back. Yo, bro, we gonna, I'm a, we gonna do it tomorrow. They ain't had a bread, this and that, blasey, blasey. I'm like, man, when I catch that nigga, I'm gonna fuck that nigga up, cuz. He like, cuz, you no, know, cuz, it's cool. We gonna, we gonna get this paper from them niggas tomorrow. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. He called me tomorrow. Around, he, I mean, I called him tomorrow. He tell me, he tell me around like 12, 1 or some shit like that. I called him a half an hour prior to whenever he tell me. I called him half an hour prior. Yo, cuz, she was up with them niggas. So, cuz, like, uh, fresh, like, uh, he, like, uh, he called me, called me back five minutes later. He, like, cuz, them niggas, them niggas said we gonna meet up, like, four, like, 435. I'm like, all right, bet. I called cuz. And whatever time he said, I called him a half an hour prior. Yo, cuz, see what's up with them niggas, Bozzy Bozzy. I'm getting mad. I'm, I'm getting tighter and tighter and tighter. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the process of from the first phone call from him hanging up, when he first called me and told me, mentioned that nigga name, and, and I told him, come get me, and he said he was going to call me back, I hung up. And I start thinking the shit from the rip. What's up with this nigga Joey Jahad? Nigga, you must be on easy talking greasy. Joey, what you had? Fuck, is you mad? Cause on some real shit, I never heard of you. You were bumping my path. The pump will make me heard of you. I just start talking crazy to myself in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna destroy this nigga. Like, yeah, you know I'm saying. So I'm like, uh, now. This the last phone call and shit. I already got now, and I know I'm already confident because I already got my shit ready. I don't remember my shit. I ain't had the right, so I remember my shit. I already got what I'm gonna give him. You know what I mean? So he come, he like, uh, so, so cuz, cuz call me back. Yo, cuz, them niggas talking about we gonna meet up at like 7 30, 8, or some shit like that. Now I'm hot. I'm really ain't, now I'm really hot. But now I'm like, all right, fuck it. He like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, all right. He called me. I called him back 7.30. Cuz, see what's up? He called me back and shit. Cuz them niggas ain't even answering the phone and shit. Them niggas bullshit and whatever, whatever. I think Cuz wanted to bet a little dollar or something. He only wanted to bet like a little stack. You know what I'm saying? He was just going to get that shit to me. You know what I mean? So he wanted to bet like a little stack. And them niggas ain't have it. They only had like 200. You know what I'm saying motherfuckers wasn't willing to put it up, so he only they only had 200, and we and I had cuz was cuz was like we ain't taking that shit, so I was mad. I'm like man, fuck it, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and after that, after that, it was on pretty much. You know what I'm saying? It was, I was I'm saying like so it was like um. Because I'm a different type of nigga. In South Philly, we talk that shit. We going to back that shit up. Rap shit, whatever shit. You know what I'm saying? So when we uh, when we talking music, it wasn't really that It wasn't really that deep. Like, it wasn't really that deep as far as 
we could have we could we could have just battled and that shit would have never been nothing. It wasn't like no beef or no shit like that. Like I mean, I felt some type of way because I felt like I don't like being talked about behind my back. Like I take that shit, I take that shit very like highly. Like yeah, you know I mean, and I take it hard and. Don't be in my face telling me I fuck with you. I ain't asked you to tell me you fuck with me. You know what I mean? Don't be in my face telling me you fuck with me. Then the first phone call I get about you ever in my life is you talking shit about me. You know what I'm saying? So I felt some type of way. I was on anguish. We was already going through shit in the street. So I ain't give a fuck about adding a couple, adding another hood of enemies, another hood of two of enemies. I ain't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So it was like on sight when I catch him. Then I hear... Like a week later, I go do a I go do a tragic loss with within all the bullshit we was going through, and I lose two of my cousins, uh, Lil and Mont, and that 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 took a crazy toll on my mental and my mind state, and it it, it took it took rap away from me, it took fun all the fun parts it took out of my life, and at that moment, at that same particular moment, I get a fun I I go up southwest. And the nigga, nigga Greg G's and shit. Nigga was from up southwest. Nigga used to live right around the corner from me. Nigga start being with his shots and shit. Nah, I mean, but he motherfucking, uh, he come, he come on his little kitchen bitch shit. One of his little kitchen bitch stories. Yo, the boy Joey you had coming at you. Now I'm saying, so I'm like, yeah, what the fuck he say? So he like, I don't know, he said some, some and the fiends, and the, and the fiends missing teeth like Frank with the grippers or some, 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 some. He like, he was coming at you. Mind you, he know the nigga, he, he fuck with them niggas, like, he was fucking with the niggas and all that. So that was my aim from there. It was like that, I get locked up. I get locked up for a gag case or, no, that was when I got locked up the three times back to back to back. I got locked up, I got locked up once with a quarter pound of tree. And, and some other stuff once with another quarter pound of tree, some other stuff and once for domestic. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that was unfortunate. You know what I mean? It, it was a mistake. You know what I mean? Try hit, hit a nigga with a vacuum cleaner and all that. You know what I mean, nigga made a mistake. It was a reflex. You know what I mean, never again though, I tell you that. Real rat, I ain't into that. Like, y'all sucker niggas do that shit. I leave that to y'all. You know what I mean? But fucking uh the last time I had got locked up was was another one that was was I had got I had was uh, accused of uh, carrying a quarter pound of tree and like a, uh, like 14 grams of uh, seven gram seven grams of powder and and we was parked next to a stolen car. And somebody called the cops about the car, and the cops wound up swarming us while we was parked next to them. That was the third time I got locked up when I say, when I come back and reiterate the thorough shit that OG did when Eddie Morris came and got me out of the jail and bailed me out. That last couple hundred that was put, Ed put, Ed did put, uh, put something to it, but OG put a couple hundred to that shit too. And when we came, when they came and put me in that van after I came home, and, and when I went to that studio and we got in that van, and they wanted me to come together and be top class. When I got locked up, Eddie Morris, Rain Man, they wasn't top class. Top class Reed was the only one that was top class. So when I come home, everybody must have been vibing over the summer while I was gone. And I come home and they top class. So we get in the van and they like, Frank, we want we want you to be top class or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? I look at them niggas like, Top class, nigga. I'm from the bottom of the fucking gutter. What I look like screaming top class, nigga? I'm from the dead end. Y'all talking about some top class. So they look at me like, this nigga fucking goofy. So <laughs> Reed in the back, he cracking the fuck up. These dudes, OG, OG, Eddie Morris, and, 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 and motherfucking Rain looking at me like, this nigga crazy. And like, Frank, no, you don't get it. This and that, blah, blah. So <laughs> and that was big bro too and shit. So Ed breaking shit down, get to breaking it down to me like, no, bro, we not gonna be a group like you still a dead and rapper Cree and them still your team like you know what I mean like we just doing top class like you know what I'm saying like we all gonna do us but we gonna bring it all together so we could get more looks we gonna share we gonna share share each other like you know what I'm saying so it was it was basically broke down to me in that sense as opposed to me joining a different team and dropping my team 
me making a bigger team. You know what I'm saying? And with that, it was like, why not? We can't lose with each other. We can't lose with each other. It'd be, it'd be fucking preposterous. We got in there and we made that motherfucker. We made that pact that we was going to be brothers for life. And that shit was done. Everything else was history. Man. So then, y'all basically, in the, in the course of, I mean, getting back to the, to, to the, um, to the battle, <clears throat> y'all basically was throwing shots back and forth. Know what I mean? And then at some point, y'all, it did end up getting done and over with as far as we understand from the, um, from our perspective, because we've seen the DVDs, the blocks, and stuff like that. So at some point, y'all did actually squash the beef. So talk about how the, how the whole thing came to an end. Actually, it was two different situations where... Oh, my fault, my fault. Before we get to that, something else I wanted to get to before we get to that. Because you started off saying that you and Meek was cool. Y'all was y'all was on good terms. You was even on the side of him when he went to go battle booming them. But then when y'all ended up doing the top class thing, you ended up on the opposite side of Meek. So when, then when it came to the touch money top class for his head shots, it's now you on one side and your man Meek on the other side. So talk about how how that situation was for you, like how that situation, I mean, went down. Now that situation, it was kind of topsy turvy, like you know what I'm saying, because like I said, I fucked it with I fucked it with Meek, like that was my that was that's bro, you feel me? And Reed, that's a bro, you feel me? So once they start beefing, it was like like Reed and Reed and Meek start beefing on some uh that was a rap beef, like Reed, me and Reed and Meek didn't disrespect each other like they didn't disrespect each other they was uh they start beefing over like a phone call or a chirp or something like that and uh and, and 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 like uh we all like i said we all had the same old head paco paco was all our old head all the titans and all the titans that came from our time that was around us Paco was everybody old head. Paco was the reasons that everybody met each other. It was half of the reasons that a lot of people met each other. And he was the reasons of a lot of you niggas that just started popping demise 10 years ago, 12 years ago. But Paco, uh, Paco, Paco had Reed on some shit coming at everybody and shit. And Reed had come to me. Yo, Frank, you think I should come at Cheek? No, he said, yo, Frank, I'm about to come at Cheek. You got Paco in our ear. Y'all about to battle Cheek and Vok. Y'all, I don't think y'all ready for Cheek and Vok. Y'all y'all want to battle them for them state property spots and this and that, blase, blase, right? So, we young. We 17 and shit. So, nigga, you fucking right. State property in right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you fucking right. And they just had start, they just had start, like, falling off and shit. So, it was like. Mac, Mac, Mac had a couple niggas under the wing, and Cheek and Vok was the two youngest out of them. So we was trying to take spots, like yeah, you know I mean they was the Titans, like yeah, you know I mean they was the up and coming Titans. They was a couple years older than us, so we was the ones right after them and shit. You feel me? And and it was like, um, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 I was like, go ahead, mind you, Cree fucked it with Cheek heavy. So I already had a respect for Cheek because like me, from my hood, you my man, man, then you my man to an extent, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a, I respect you as my man's man, period. So I ain't no Cheek at the time, but I had a respect for him. He fucked it. He had a good relationship with my bro and another one of my bros fucked it with him, you know what I'm saying? But Reed was my man. So that's different. That's your man, but this my man. So like it was so it was like um and I knew where Reed was coming from. I knew Reed wasn't like trying to start a beef. I knew Reed wasn't like about to strap up and go down top of Hog in the morning trying to shoot Cheek because Cheek popping. Fuck no, that wasn't nothing like that. That shit was it was rap. Cheek was popping. You know what I mean? And we and, and Reed wanted Cheek spot. Like that's what it was. I ain't gonna say we, cause I wanted my spot. But Reed wanted cheek spot, so that's what it was. And and and, and my fucking uh uh yeah, get back to the to meek. But, yeah, how, how back to yeah, yeah back to meek. It was like uh um it was awkward, man. I'm 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 chilling. I'm chilling. I'm staying out of Reed and meek shit. Telling trying to get Reed. Telling Reed like yeah, you know I mean y'all niggas need to battle or trying to give it some type of some type of uh. 
bring that shit to some type of head that'll bust. Like y'all niggas need to set up a battle or some shit like that, whatever. Then I turn around, Bob and them drop a motherfucking headshot DVD. This nigga on motherfucking, I don't know if it was headshot or some, it was one of them Jones. But this they got this nigga in a P dissing me. They got this nigga in on 20th and Snyder dissing me, cuz crowded and shit out there. Like I wouldn't have slid doing bust his fucking head out that joint. They got this nigga on 20th and Snyder dissing me. Ain't nobody from Tasker know that nigga was out there, cuz if anybody from Tasker would have knew he was out there, he wouldn't have been a fuck out there. I don't give a fuck who from South Philly was out there with it. If anybody from Tasker knew he was out there, he wouldn't have been out there. Like, you know what I mean? So, and they knew, like, like I felt like y'all niggas, they knew that. Like, I felt like they knew that. You feel me? All of them. Like, you know what I mean? I felt like y'all knew that. Like, y'all ain't, y'all gotta, I ain't never bring Reed out Tasker and have him bombing y'all. I ain't never stand in the background waiting while he bombing y'all. I ain't never tell him fuck y'all. You know what I mean? So, yeah, when I, when I bring that to them niggas' attention, damn, y'all. Man, I ain't never stand in the background of none of that shit. I don't be with that shit with had this and you and this and that. But y'all got this nigga in the P dissing me. So, you know what I'm saying? It was on some shit like, all right, Reed, bite their ass. Bite their ass. You know what I'm saying? And it was like that. And, 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 and don't get it fucked up. It never changed nothing about the personal side. Because I still fucked it with him. Like we still would bust it up and talk and all that shit. But you, you y'all repping, y'all, y'all screaming headshot. And when y'all, when y'all, when when y'all niggas screaming top class ass and top class this, y'all niggas ain't saying top class this. I only fuck with Frank. Y'all niggas ain't saying none of that in y'all motherfucking raps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to make it look to the people like. Fuck Frank too. When y'all know damn well it's never gonna be. It never was like that. Like you know what I mean. So I felt like it was. I felt like it was niggas was indirectly not saying certain shit about Frank to try to make it seem like they was going at Frank too, or without saying that they was going at Frank, leaving room to say that. No, I wasn't going at you, Frank, because they ain't had no reason to go at Frank. And in the P, we look at that shit different. If we gonna go at it, we really gonna go at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And real niggas ain't gonna go at it about bitch shit like rap. So, it w I felt like niggas was like sidebar trying to diss. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that Reed was going so hard. It wasn't, it wasn't really worth me stepping in. Like, you know what I mean? They stepped on touch money. Then they stepped on touch money tell. Like, and it wasn't really worth me jumping in. They was getting everything that they was asking for. Like, and I fucked it with me. Like, me, we got mutual family, like I said. So, it was point. It's pointless in me trying to diss niggas I fuck with. They ain't, it wasn't dumb. Like, they fucked with me. So, it was like, you know what I mean? It was what it was. Like, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, I, I, it, it was always awkward, though. Don't get it fucked up. It was always awkward watching, watching Meek bomb Reed, watching Reed come at Meek. It was awkward because I, 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 I got genuine love for both of them. Like, yeah, I mean, I got genuine love for both of them. Like, yeah, I mean, I came up with some of the hardest niggas. I done argue with my homies about both of them niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, 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 it's like, um, it was a it was a it was a hard thing, man. But in the in the process, it it, it became fucking after they, after y'all let a nigga come to the P and diss me, and knowing I wouldn't have let it happen, like that's what it was. Word. So yeah, we're gonna get back to like yeah. At some point, y'all was trying to squash. You said like two different times y'all was trying to squash it. So yeah, speak about how how it ultimately came to an end on your on your behalf. How it ultimately came to an end. How it ultimately came to an end was Three Kings. Three Kings, how it ultimately came to an end. I ain't fuck with Three Kings. I I, I hated that shit. The whole Three Kings idea, all that shit. When I came home from from the, I came home from one of my joint, one of my, I think my the gun case I caught, I had caught a gun case. Came home from that joint and shit, and um, and my fucking Gil called OG while we in a van driving to Reed crib. So he like.